technology represents the human being tools, tools that help human beings to progress, to create comfort, or to understand and define the environment. An extension of the five senses. So, technology is an extension of human beings. Do not forget that. Unfortunately, in the current system, the monetary system, much of the technology, has been transformed into the composition of individual social image and often, they see themselves, or others, through the objects they possess. Therefore, the impression of total dependence of technology, telephone, car, house, computer, internet. A true picture would be this. Again, do not forget, the technology is an extension of human beings. Automation. We have shown how almost any job can be automated, and this automation lead directly to abundance. But, to achieve abundance, besides automation, you need materials. To get an idea about materials needed, that are the planet resources, you have to make a survey over the planet, a thorough analysis of the planet's resources. Then, put this in relation to population growth rate. How a certain survey is the basis for an intelligence system in any environment, but the monetary system is not based on it, we must relate the products that are manufactured today. Food. Types of food. Millions of types of food in the present, several hundred thousand of the same type, produced by different companies. Sweets. Millions of types of candies. Several hundred thousand products are identical but produced by different companies. Drinks. From alcoholic drinks, soft drinks or milk, here also are millions of types of drinks, and some hundreds of thousands of identically products created by different companies. Animal food. Hundreds of thousands of types of foods for animals in a system designed for the human species, but in which, tens of thousands of people die daily from hunger. How a man would need, two, three meals a day, and, one, two liters of water. These products could be restricted to only a few thousand types, but for everyone. If you can produce millions of types of foods, drinks, sweets or food for animals, it means that material to, build food, exists. That plus the fact that in the monetary system is throwing tons of food, daily. These, combined with permaculture, or mariculture, can create an abundance of food and a variety of them. Other materials. Various construction materials. You must take into account here, all unnecessary objects from the monetary system, which are still produced. Decorative objects, recycling machines, if objects would be of the highest quality, then it will decimate the recycling machines. Entertainment items, from football stadiums that are about 70, 
80,000 seats to million of musical instruments. Amusement parks, objects for animals, special cages, clothes or other objects designed for other beings on this planet. That in a system created for the human race in which millions of people have nowhere to stand, or what to dress. Thousands of houses or buildings, not used. Whether they are private, only for certain events, or they are simply empty waiting to be occupied by people with money. Millions of types of clothing, in a world of fashion. Reuse existing unnecessary objects, and focus on utility in the production of new objects. Energy. Energy is vital to the technology. From lighting, to most devices that you own, cars or any equipment, everything is powered by energy. Energy is a quantity that indicates the ability of a physical system to perform work when going through a transformation from one state to another state in the chosen reference state. Energy is a state function. Currently, oil is still used to power these machines, but oil is a substance that is found on planet Earth, and unfortunately it's exhaustible. Currently there are so many types of renewable energies that only an extremely harmful system can stop an abundance of it. Solar energy. Ocean thermal energy conversion. Geothermal energy. Bloom energy. Wave energy. Bioenergy. Biofuels. Biomass. Tidal power. Wind power. Compressed natural gas. Nuclear power generator. Human power. Etc. To get an idea, you can consider only two such types of renewable energies. Geothermal energy. Geothermal energy gives us a steady supply of electrical power with minimal environmental impact. Here is the basic process. Water in underground reservoirs is heated to high temperatures by magma. Production wells drilled up to 10,000 feet below the Earth's surface tap into this hot fluid. Under its own pressure, the fluid flows through these wells toward the surface. As it travels, the pressure lessens, causing a small amount to become steam. Together, the hot fluid and steam move through a surface pipeline to a wellhead separator where the pressure is reduced. Here, most of the fluid vaporizes and flashes into high-pressure steam. Any fluid not flashed into steam moves to a standard pressure crystallizer to produce standard pressure steam. Remaining fluid is then flashed at a lower pressure to create low pressure steam. All steam created in the plant is sent to a turbine on site. The force of the steam spins the turbine's blades, which turns a shaft connected to an electrical generator. An electrical charge is created and directed to a transformer where the voltage is increased and sent down power lines. Any fluids not flashed into steam return to the underground reservoir where in time they will be reheated and reused. Geothermal energy, a simple, clean and renewable energy source. and solar energy. Sunlight is made up of tiny packets of energy called photons. Every minute, enough of this energy reaches the Earth to meet the world's energy demand for a whole year. Photovoltaic panels consist of many solar cells. These are made of materials like silicon, one of the most common elements on Earth. The individual cell is designed with a positive and a negative layer to create an electric field just like in a battery. 
As photons are absorbed in the cell, their energy causes electrons to become free. The electrons move toward the bottom of the cell and exit through the connecting wire. This flow of electrons is what we call electricity. By combining solar cells and photovoltaic panels, we can produce just the right amount of electricity to perform a specific job, no matter how large or small.